The death of an Ohio teenager has sparked national outrage with reports the teen committed suicide after being shunned for being transgender. Leela Alcorn was born a boy but was living as a girl, something her family reportedly did not support. The note she left behind gives a heartbreaking glimpse into her suffering. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. A petition gaining momentum online tonight, roughly 60,000 people calling for the family of this transgender teen to put her chosen name, Leela, on her tombstone. This after the 17-year-old born Josh Ryan Alcorn apparently committed suicide over the weekend. I hate the fact that he had to live in a home that didn't support him. Alcorn lashing out against her devout parents and society in a suicide note on social media. The life I would have lived isn't worth living in, she wrote, because I'm transgender. Adding, she felt like a girl trapped in a boy's body, but that her family wanted me to be their perfect little straight Christian boy. On Facebook, Alcorn's mother made no mention of suicide, but wrote, my sweet son went home to heaven this morning. He was out for an early morning walk and was hit by a truck. According to a survey from 2010, 41% of 7,000 transgender people questioned had attempted suicide. Alcorn's death now grabbing attention around the world. Actress Rose McGowan tweeting, fly free, baby girl. Meanwhile, Dan Savage, the founder of It Gets Better, a video movement intended to inspire lesbian, gay, bi, or trans teens facing harassment. There is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with being gay. Is calling for Alcorn's parents' arrest, tweeting, hashtag Leela Alcorn's parents should be ashamed. Charges should be brought. In her note, Alcorn wrote she wanted her death to, quote, mean something, saying, the only way I will rest in peace is if one day transgender people aren't treated the way I was. Tonight, her death, starting a conversation. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York.